from batik and sunken traditional art and wear in Malaysia. Well, Fiona's aim has been especially to make Malaysians proud, and in the process, she has made the international community raise their eyebrows, of course, at the potential of such Malaysian designers. Well, she says modern handicraft, and as you can see by her design and carbon bio model. Ranov is still active in collaborating with Anglo-Open and NGOs, community colleges and schools in Sarawak with particular focus There it caught the attention of Thomas Kong, chairman of the US China Cultural Exchange and Development Association, a non Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny Agrisson is an award-winning designer who always leads in visually traditional Indonesian fabrics into stylish young edgy and playful is the freedom of the young fashion fashionists making her popular name among today's youth. A mission and vision are to make young people more familiar with culture. Ready to wear style, but today's global fashionable women. And yes, so creating that modern look as you can see with women. Sylvia Lick is the key driver for steering the group's business and elevators for the Sankawa uh, St. Martin's College of Arts and Design in London and one of its founding members who conceived the brand Sylvia is behind the creation of the authority women in their dresses. Boyu Sumakon is a Laos fashion designer based in Vientiane. Well, she's always interested in fashion, and as much as Boy loves wearing fashion, she likes designing too. Well, she's among the list of Laos women who has a fondness for Laos glamorous traditional style of dressing. Well, in 2002, also, ladies and gentlemen, Boyu decided to explore the world of fashion design by enrolling herself at Bank of FA to develop her technical fashion knowledge and skill to pursue her interests. And well, Boyu's designs are... A Paddy is well known as a team member and a fashion ambassador of Asian fashion designer showcase representing Laos. The couple fashion designer and showed his collection for the first time during the 2011 Philippine Fashion Week. Well, the range fonted in the show included sweetwear, wingswear, and menswear. Well, he's recognized for more using colors, luxurious fabrics, and and started his atelier. Benton made to read boat had the design in 2012-11 with a overwhelming order of eliminates they started his own production workshop along with six full-time staff in 2013 and now Ben's work is recognized as well as made colorful playful and inventive Style. His designs are characteristic through inspiration for popular culture. The fashion designer has acquired the likes and immunization of his mother, then introduced the label to Dubai, well, in UAE. And in July 2018, Shanti received the prestigious Modest Fashion Award by the Islamic Fashion and Design Council in Torino, Italy, and also during the same year showcased the first ever Modest Fashion Show called Moda Soire at Milan Fashion Week 2018. Well, Chanti comes from the Malay word Chanti, meaning beautiful, from the Sultanate Kingdom of Brunei, Dar es Salaam. Well, magical trees of fashion between Asia and meeting Middle East to give you unique individual pieces drawn from Malay, Chinese, and other ethnic heritage. Beautiful indeed. Well, rich modern designs with embellishments, embroidery, and beadwork. As you can see, our fashion model are wearing right now, chanting.
for Bernard Arsala, ladies and gentlemen, always creates a feminine, romantic, stylish, and captivating styles. Harvey, too, is considered as a woman with an amazing personality style, design sense, and good attitude. in the fashion industry of Thailand. Well, in the course of his career, Peter Pat has worked to style costumes and outfits for Thailand's stage and television industry and has collaborated with Pepper. Terry Yeo is the Willy Wonka of the Singapore fashion industry. Terry has established his name in the industry by his weekly original ideas and designs. With the big names in the industry like Metro, Giordano, Astro Boy Fashion, Family Hills Polo Club, and Hush Puppies. He's also actively involved in design projects for Motorola, Singtel, Paragon, and the New Paper. And Tarry also won several. For designing at a tender age of 17. After two years of economics and accounting course in college, Pat then shifted to a more appropriate course that will nurture his love for style through fashion design and advanced pattern making. Well, in 1991, ladies and gentlemen, he was given the biggest breath of his RTW supply manufacturer career when Pat's first production of basic shirts in soft fabrics sold out in just two days of the rush. And right there and then, he was given an opportunity to branch out and create something in jeans for Filipino women. himself and building a strong foundation for two decades in the garment industry, Pat decided to continue pursuing his first love, Couture and Bridal Line in 2012. Well, with his growth as a fashion designer and the mastery of craftsmanship that he acquired over the span of years in the industry and his fondness in his travel abroad, Pat reiterates the top of mind factor incorporated in every bridal gown that he creates. Debating for the Ready to Wear collection in 2010, Natasha has been dedicated to very making clothes were a beautifully crafted from inside out with a focus of contour, quality craftsmanship of 90% of the Natasha Van collection is manufactured in London. The material used for her collection are 100% handcraft in London, Hong Kong, using the highest quality material and constructions. Her influence by the many sources, including the classic fairy tale photograph of Tim Walker and the fashion designer work of Charles James and Charles Falk. She also finds inspiration on the travel of Asia and Europe as well in a fairy tale of Greek myth and style inspired mostly by natural forms. Young fashion designer, later that year, at the age of 21, Hayden opened his fashion beauty, Hayden. Well, in 1988, Hayden showcased his designs in Australia and later he represented Singapore in the Dalian Fashion Festival in China and since then, he's added theater costume design to his laptop. That year, upon graduation, Michael started his home-based business, Michael Oil Made to Measure and More Factory. While More Factory offers a wide range of trends setting ready to wear, Michael Oil meant to measure specialized in meticulous research 
go hand in hand with his ambition and will to create something new and modern. And 1st January 2018, Michael will have opened an athlete at Bukit Martajam Pinang to visit. He continues to climb the fashion ladder by gaining accolades of hair, makeup, image styling for local and international TBC and fashion magazine and the music industry. His biggest achievement so far is the award of one of the top four creative makeup artists in 1999 by Via Saint Laurent, awarded by the Mion and Shannon the recognition for his contribution towards the Malaysian fashion industry as a Malaysian designer in 2001. Henry's versatility, versatility in ranging from trend up quarter. What a beautiful collection by Olsen Liu and please welcome uh, Olsen Liu from Malaysia, the esteemed pioneer member and fashion ambassador of Asian Fashion Design Showcase representing Malaysia. Please welcome Olsen Liu.
Top Designer auf Asia.